lessons and much love. My name is Ms. Nakaruka Giddy. I'm reading a book entitled The Amazing 12 Laws of the Universe. And it is so interesting. Oh my God, I'm just learning so, so, so much. And everything I'm learning is just beneficial to me. But the first law is the law of divine oneness. It says everything we do, say, think, and believe affects others and the universe around us. Basically, you choose your reality and have the ability to change your life around sooner than you think. Everything we do and how we do it counts when it comes from living life. Mm. That is something to think about. Number two, the law of vibration. It says each sound, thing, and even thought has its own vibra vibrational frequency. Unique unto itself. Remember, it is important to maintain a high positive vibration. Do not let somebody's negative low vibration affect yours. In other words, that's just like saying do not let somebody mess your day up or get you out of your normal character. And that was something that I had to work on um, before I had left my old job. The law of action. The law of action must be applied in order for us to manifest things on earth. Therefore, we must engage in action that supports our thoughts, dreams, emotions, and words. You have to be willing to tell yourself out loud, out loud what it is you want every day and be willing to actually put in the full potential to become or get what you want. This may include things like not hanging or communicating with people who are blocking or slowing you down from whatever it is you want or just not doing the same irrelevant things you are used to doing everything with your life. And I can understand that one. That's why my circle is small. That's why I cannot be around people that's negative and that's not trying to better themselves. Number four, the law of correspondence. That's also why it's important for us to pay attention to things just like we do people. Everything is part of the universe and have the biggest effects on our lives. And number five, the law of cause and effect. Nothing happens by chance or outside the universal laws. Every action has a reaction or consequences. Let me repeat that. Every action has a reaction or a consequence. It says, for those who don't believe in karma, understand this. Everything has a cause and effect. What kind of positive or negative energy you send out eventually will come back to its creator. Meaning, if you do something negative, you are using negative energy to do it. So, therefore, that ne negative energy you send out to the universe eventually finds its way back to you. That's something to think about. The law of compensation. A lot of times when you send out positive energy by doing good deeds or just doing things for the happiness of someone else and not you, you will see many blessings more than you can imagine. Number seven, the law of attraction. Our thoughts, feelings, words, and actions produce energies which in turn attract like energies. Negative energies attract negative energies and positive energies attract positive energies. It is very important to keep positive energy or to surround yourself with positive energy. Number eight, the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. It says higher vibration consumes and transforms lower ones. Thus, each of us can change the energies in our life by understanding the universal laws and applying the principles in such a way as to affect change. We have done some things we are not happy about, even some things that would bring us bad karma. Just know this negative energy coming your way can be transformed to positive. The Law of Relativity This law also teaches us to compare our problems to other problems and put everything into its proper perspective. No matter how bad we perceive our situation to be, there is always someone who is in a worse situation or position. And I truly believe that. The law of polar polarity. 
Pole Arati. I don't know if I'm saying this word, but it's P O L A R I T Y. It is the law of mental vibration. Whatever bad thoughts you may have, you cannot dwell on them or worry. When you worry, you lose focus on what you're supposed to be focused on. You may also bring what you're worrying about to reality if you think about it too much. That's why they, yeah. I was told one time, I was like, I feel like I'm going to die. And my director said, don't think that. Because it might actually happen. Hmm. In the law of rhythm, always focus on positive, on a positive view, and only you control your thoughts. If you continue to focus and worry about the bad, you need to motivate yourself to a higher and more positive vibration. The the law of gender, the spiritual initiate must balance the masculine and feminine energies within herself or himself to become a master and a true co-creator with God. This was taken from the amazing 12 books of the universe written by hold on, hold on William William Richard. So that's the, the amazing 12 laws of the universe. Learn it. So you can live accordingly. Peace, blessings, and much love. Miss Nakaroka Getty.